Views are banging. Look at this over here. <laughs> Look, just show them the view. <laughs> it's midnight on. I don't even know what day it is at this point. But we've just woken up about two hours from Mount Ejen and we have a two hour car journey yet to go. We have had about three hours sleep. We stayed in a hotel, we got here about 8 p.m. and we don't know if we're ready for today but we're gonna move anyway so let's get on the road. Got our masks. We're oh. starting the ascent up. Our guide said should be about two hours. It's about three kilometers, but obviously it's uphill. We'll show you a little bit on the way up and some more at the top. Okay, we're gonna head down to the blue flame now. So we're gonna put masks on. <laughs> We decided not to go down to see the blue flame. The queue to get to the bottom was so long and it was moving really slowly. So slow that we might have actually not made it down in time to be able to see the blue flame because the sun would have come up. We set off at 2.30 this morning to the summit and we still didn't make it there in time to beat all the queues. So if you really do want to go down and see the blue flame, you're going to have to set off at least an hour earlier than that. You know, half see. one, 1 a.m., something like that. We decided that we wanted to see the sunrise. So we're walking along the crater now, the crater's edge, and we can see the blue lake down below. We can't see it's blue yet, but we can see the ripples and we can see that there's a lake there. Can't show you that yet, but when you see it, it's going to be amazing. We've made it to the sunrise spot. We're going to sit here and wait for the sun to rise and to watch the beautiful lake turn blue. This has been such an epic trip. We have absolutely loved climbing Mount Ejen. It's been much easier for me rather than Bromo. If you want to check that out, have a look up here. Bromo was really tough for me um, for a multitude of reasons, but Ejen, I'm pleased to say, has been much more successful. what other people won't show you in the YouTubes. I'm so cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> the views are good though. The views are banging. Look at this over here. <laughs> just, Look at, just, just show them the view. Can you even see anything? <laughs> A little. <laughs> This right here is why you wait for the sun to hit the lake and it just turns it the most amazing shade of blue. It just looks phenomenal. Our time at the top of Mount Ejen has come to an end. We've loved being here. We've stayed here for so long, probably been like three hours at the top, just waiting for that water to turn the most amazing shade of blue. And it was worth every cold minute that we spent at the top. A few things to know about Mount Ejen, just as we're on our way back down, it's the largest acidic lake that sits in a crater in the world. I can't say there's gonna be a huge pool of candidates for claiming that title, but it's still awesome anyway. It's been such a unique, incredible experience. We've 
really love being here. It's just amazing. It's so nice. The jumpers are finally off. It is warm enough. The sun is on our face and it feels so good. And we're still admiring the incredible views of a gen. Wow, this is without a doubt the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Next to a place like Komodo Islands. Like this is a true force of nature. Absolutely stunning. How heavy is it? He said it's 30 kilos. Whoa. They carry this from down at the bottom. <laughs> that looks heavy. No <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, for long. Yeah. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it's not kilo. Yeah. Nice and low. Heavy? Yeah, it's so painful. You carry it all the way down from the bottom where the blue flame is. Oh. That's crazy. Jeez. This way. That was nuts. I could not do that. <laughs> We're now back at the point where we put our gas masks on on the way up. This is where you turn to go down to see the blue flame. Obviously, we never ended up going down to see the blue flame because the queue was just too crazy. That's the real reason that you need the gas mask for. Now and at the top of there, you don't need it. But if you're going down to the water where all the smoke and all that sulfur is, that's where you need the mask. You can wear the gas mask if you want. Having been to the top of Bromo recently, this is nowhere near as pungent or the stench is nowhere near as bad. At the top of the crater at Bromo, it was burning my nose, burning my throat. Here, we had no problem walking around the top of the volcano. You'd get the occasional smell of the sulfur every so often but it's nowhere near as bad when we started our trek up to a gen in the early hours of the morning we noticed when we arrived that the workers here offer taxis which is basically like a trolley slash cart that they'll basically pull you up the mountain in which is no small feat it's pretty steep and it really looked like they were struggling in some parts which was kind of hard to watch usually there's only one person sat in the car on the way up and there's anything from two to three workers pulling you up for the service going up it costs i think around 500,000 rupiah which is about 25 pounds and to come back down again it's about 300 rupiah and the price decreases the further you go down so in total they earn 800,000 let's say which is about 40 pounds they all seem pretty happy that they're really sweet when you speak to them and uh, yeah they just want to help you get up and down the mountain not gonna lie it's a very hard job with i'm guessing very few days off but they do it with a smile on their face as much as it's way more chill coming down it's so steep and slippy i don't think our trainers are very good for this i've fallen once already <laughs> had a couple of those skid near misses <laughs> Jeez. i feel like if you're watching this it doesn't look very hard but come and do a gen and you'll change your mind i think it's because of the type of dirt or ash it's whatever so it is soft. it's the same as what they had at bromo as well so i think it probably is ash mixed with dirt it's like as soft as sand oh, and softer. No, it's softer than sand it's like silk <laughs> um it's yeah so fine so soft and we because we pack for efficiency because we travel all over we only have running trainers and they're no good for this <laughs> if you hear any whimpers it's me baby steps <laughs> baby steps <laughs> find the grooves <laughs> uh, okay just i'm going for it uh, oh. 
<laughs> yeah, at least you haven't fallen over yet. I'm 1-0. Yeah, that is true. I've never forgot that. The more that we keep slipping on the way down, and in my case falling, the better these taxi services are looking. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? You don't look okay. I'm not okay. <laughs> the dust is getting in my eyes. I've got sunglasses, why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs> 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 it literally makes your heart drop. I'm going to go for it. Hi. <laughs> I will not be doing that. I am slow and steady wins the race with this one. Although I nearly fell and Matt just didn't. So who's the real winner? Okay, this is the last steep bit and now it's all fairly flat, so it's not so bad. The end is in sight. We're about to cross the finish line. We're gonna make it. We made it. Woo! <laughs> oh, that really does feel like an accomplishment. That, honestly, hands down, one of the best things I've done in Indonesia. Yeah, amazing. You have to do mountain gen. It's so beautiful. I cannot explain it. You obviously saw the footage. It is amazing. Yeah, the and colour it, of that lake, when the light hits it, phenomenal. And then the amazing. surrounding scenes. Yes. The landscape is, um, is just incredible. And even the walk down is absolutely beautiful. When you're not skidding for your, and scared yeah, for your life. When you're not skidding for your life. You have to add a gen to your bucket list. Our journey through East Java has been amazing. We've loved every moment, even though it's one of the most exhausting trips we've ever taken. Our only regret is that we didn't take our time to see even more of this incredible island. Mount Bromo, Tumpak Suwu and Mount Ijen all blew us away, but also so did the rest of East Java. The nature here is so incredible, we really loved it. We'll definitely be back, but for now, it's time for us to get the ferry back over to Bali where we'll probably sleep for another three days. We hope you've enjoyed joining us for our East Java trip and don't forget to tune in next week for even more adventures. See you soon.